Hi, my name is Jolima and I am the founder of Paisa Coffee LLC. I am also a fifth generation coffee grower from Colombia, born and raised at my parents' coffee farm. And I was the first person in my family to be able to access higher education. My parents barely finished elementary school. Truth to be told, my grandparents believed that educating their children was too expensive and not worth it. Plus, it would only mean less workers for the farm. And even though I am from a different generation, I could not help but notice while growing up how many coffee growing families still think like that to this day. That said, many other parents within the coffee producing regions think different. They want a better future for their children and they know that education is the answer. However, they don't really believe coffee can offer a better future. So education is seen as a way to get away from the coffee farms and closer to a better life. When I finished college, a whole world of opportunities opened up to me. And one of those was to be able to come to the US where I learned most of what I know today about a specialty coffee. At the farm, I learned how to grow and process the cherries, but I never thought there were opportunities in coffee beyond that until I went to school and got educated. There I met people with bigger ideas than mine that literally showed me everything was possible. That's how I understood there was a way for me to stay in coffee and help my family without having to stay and work at the farm. Today I am representing a group of coffee farms and producing families in Colombia. Through my business I am able to connect them to the international market, help them get access to better prices and better opportunities. Give them negotiation power when it comes to their coffees by teaching them a new way of processing that adds value to their product. I can help them make their farms more profitable and help them get control of their coffee business through knowledge. Because as they say, knowledge is power. As a farmer, knowing what you have and how good your coffee is, is the first step to becoming independent. Getting access to the international market. Being able to provide a final product ready for consumption, like roasted coffee, and being able to directly communicate with potential customers in other countries is what follows. But this cannot be done without education. Just being able to speak the same language than their customers will open up so many doors. We need to show our coffee farmers the importance of educating their children, not so that they can leave the farms and never come back, but so that they can go find opportunities to grow the farms and transform their communities and the way they work with coffee. There are so many career opportunities in coffee that farmers and kids of farmers don't know of and will never know about if they stay at the farms. It is true that some kids will prefer to stay away from coffee if they get access to education. But as a children of coffee farmers, I can assure you that many others would prefer to find a way to stay close to coffee if they knew that was an option, only not as a farmer. And that is fine. Not everyone will choose to study, even if they can. I've seen it inside my own family how not all children of farmers want to go to school. Some rather stay at the farm and grow coffee like their parents did. And we need those kids too. But in order for them to stay at the beginning of the coffee supply chain, their farms need to be profitable. And this can be done if they learn how to process coffees with special characteristics, if they learn how to taste and cup their coffees for quality, and if they are aware that there is a market for those coffees and that there is no reason why they cannot access it. While they grow amazing coffees at the farms, other children of coffee farmers that did choose to go to school and that had the opportunity to do so can be opening doors for those coffees, making connections, roasting if possible, bringing roasters to the farms like doing coffee tourism and working with the producers so that we can make a more transparent coffee chain where communication flows and everyone is compensated fairly. It is no secret that many coffee farmers are growing coffee because they see no other option. I think through higher education and also coffee coffee education at the farm level, coffee producers can get access to better prices and have higher quality of life. And we will have coffee producers that choose to stay in coffee because it is what they love. And because coffee, more than a medium to survive, is a way to live a happy life. And that is just the way it should be. 